This is the harrowing story of nature's wrath on April 27th, a day that will forever be etched into the memories of Guangzhou. Brace yourselves as we recount the massive tornado that unleashed destruction. At around 3 p.m. on that fateful Friday afternoon, a powerful tornado descended upon Zhonglotan town in Guangzhou's Bayon district. The twister's path of devastation extended a staggering one kilometer, ravaging the villages of Guangming, Chendong, Jinpen, and other fertile farmlands. As night fell, the true scope of the calamity became clear. Five lives had been tragically lost, with 33 more injured and rushed to hospitals. While no houses collapsed, the tornado's fury left 141 factories in ruins. Eyewitness accounts paint a chilling picture of the tornado's descent. Chen Li, a Baiyun resident, recounted, It was like a bomb went off, glass exploding everywhere and loud crashes from things thrown by extreme winds. Upon seeing the colossal funnel, Chen admitted, I couldn't believe my eyes. I've lived in Guangzhou my whole life and never witnessed anything so terrifying. Just 2.8 kilometers away, the Langtian village weather station recorded a maximum wind gust of 58 miles per hour around the time the tornado struck. However, experts believe the true winds were far stronger along the vortex's core path. The daylight hours and weekend timing may have prevented an even higher death toll. Still, the images of decimated structures make it clear Guangzhou narrowly escaped exponential tragedy. Remarkably, several residents captured the tornado on camera as it bore down, some sprinting for cover, others hunkering down to endure nature's fury. Huang Mingxing, operating a restaurant in the hardest hit area, vividly described the ominous signs. The skies turned an eerie green shade and got extremely dark. That's when I knew something really bad was coming. The same powerful storm spawned another deadly force, a paralyzing hailstorm that hammered Guangzhou with record-breaking ice chunks. Baseball and softball-sized hailstones pummeled homes, businesses and vehicles, inflicting devastating damage across the city and suburbs. It was like a war zone. I've never witnessed such aggressive weather, exclaimed Yang Jingfei of Panyu District, who filmed the bombardment. The hailstone impacts were deafening. We took cover in interior rooms to avoid shattering glass injuries from the larger stones.
Meteorologist Hui stated the tornado would receive no lower than an EF3 rating, indicating peak winds between 136 to 165 miles per hour carved its path of destruction. This cataclysmic event highlighted southern China's vulnerability to high-impact tornadoes and severe thunderstorms, especially during spring's peak heat and humidity. As the debris settles and Guangzhou begins to rebuild, the psychological scars will take much longer to heal. Families mourn their lost loved ones, injured survivors regain their strength, and a once vibrant community is now haunted by the echoes of that dreadful twister.